Yeah, voters and political experts have plenty of opinions to share over last night's election. And they also shared some thoughts about how the tone of city council may change and how the relationships among city officials may change with this new uh, administration. Uh, but another big item that they had to talk about with me today was their division over their, um, their concerns over the possible changes that may come to the city government structure uh, that something that voters are going to be uh, likely voting on in November later this year. The citizens voted. They voted for who they want. They are, and, and that's what's important, that they feel that their person that they voted for will represent them in a manner that they're pleased with. Voters and commentators coming to terms with Tuesday's results, whether they were pleased or disappointed with how the election turned out. One thing commentators on both sides agreed on, that the dynamics among city officials is going to change with the new administration. Mayor Mitch Colvin re-elected for the third time, but newcomer Brenda McNair is joining the council. We have council members that's going to be more engaged into actually doing their jobs. Uh, my criticism of the past council was that I thought they were just cheerleaders for the mayor. Williams predicts there'll be more division and accountability in city government this time around. Experts also say this is a city council that will likely bring out more heated discussions surrounding hot button issues like deciding on the future of the historic market house downtown. Plus, there were concerns over voter apathy and the low turnout. Only about 11 percent of the electorate came out to the polls. What we have to do as elected individuals is give citizens more, give, make them excited about coming out and voting for you. And that's what's happening. We don't have the excitement. Commissioner Evans also spoke out against a possible change in city government. It's expected that residents will vote on whether to incorporate citywide representatives into local government in November. That would mean residents would vote for their district representative, the mayor, and for additional at-large representatives for Fayetteville. To say that it would be a better service for the citizens, it probably would be in some areas, but not in all areas because there are areas that will be totally forgotten. And, and even at large, I've been fortunate enough to win at large, but it takes money. It takes money to run these at large races. And so um, what you're doing now is pricing people out of the opportunity to serve. I don't think that's the problem. I think the more effective legislators, if you have Six people to vote for, it just empowers you, it doesn't disempower you. In Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.